What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel and today we are starting our first round of the Masters competition. That's right, we are back at the granddaddy of all the slams in my opinion, my favourite major of the year, the Masters. We are back and we will be playing the full first round right here on the channel. And the first thing I want to update you on just before we get started is we have bought our first set or first spec I should say, on the clubs. We've bought our first rare iron and that's increasing our accuracy with the irons. Of course, we've equipped them as well, so they're ready to go. And yeah, we'll see how they play out on the course. But enough of that, let's get straight into the first round at the Masters. And as always, guys, if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And yeah, really excited to get this one going and see how it goes. What is it about this parcel of land, set deep amongst the Georgia pines, that draws us in so? Is it the beauty? Is it the color? Is it the sound and the breezes? Is it the history? It's all of that. Everything together makes this place special. This is Augusta National. This is the Masters. Now, earlier this morning, one of the Masters' cherished traditions, the honorary starters out there to get the tournament underway. Golf's preeminent global ambassador, Gary Player, a three-time Masters champion, got him started and finished with that classic leg kick. Do you have to say the, gra the crowd models are particularly bad in this? I don't know why. <laughs> Six-time Masters tournament winner, one of the game's greatest icons, synonymous with Augusta National. And Tom Watson, Masters champion in 1977 and 1981. I can tell you that all three, not surprisingly, knocked it in the fairway to the delight of the patrons assembled. It was then that the Masters tournament was officially declared underway. Here we go then. Starting off fairly early in the morning. Today, Let's see what our improvements bring us in terms of performance at the Masters. We did play online in an online tournament um, on Friday, just gone, um, in an online tournament to see how we fared, and we did okay. Didn't make a massive amount of scores, but we did pretty well. Hopefully we're going to do a lot better than we did when we were an amateur playing in the Masters on an invite. We are 14 attributes better on 81 now. And this will be the first test for the iron as well. So that coveted invitation to this great tournament. Frank, you know the feeling. You've been there. What do you think's running through their mind right about now? Probably everything, including breakfast, really. Um, <laughs> oh, that's a great yeah, shot. A great feeling, you know, we, we, we Iron's coming in handy. Very much what have you done for me it's right from now. the off. So you just look back and, and just because you're a rookie, forget that. You, you're a winner. That's all you even think about. Because there's a lot of people... We start off that. strong with a birdie. Put you in front of that guy. And Which I think we did on the online and, and stream. Um, again, go check that out over on Twitch if you want to see how that went. Played a few online tournaments. Just about under an hour or so. Some good fun. I hope we'll be doing that on a weekly basis now. I'm going to hit our second drive on a par 5 now. Nice hit. Oh, we've hit the trees again. We seem to do that a lot on that hole. And we're going to open the brown stuff. And nestled in with the trees as well. Right in the middle of the pine straw. Now it's all about recovery here. Not going to get that far ahead, I don't think so. Through the trees again, but heading towards that green. Now with a decent chip, we could maybe rescue a birdie here. But definitely looking for the par. Oh, 
Oh, I didn't roll as much. I have to adjust the new irons and see how they do. Long putt for Birdie. Right, a slant, and it's making its way, but it just creeps by. We will take that, though. Take the even. First couple of holes. Looking good so far. What we're going to do today, folks, is we're, we're only playing the first round, and then the next video for the career mode will be rounds two, and if we make the cut three, and then we'll do a final round as a special one-off video with us playing with our whoever our playing partner is, should we make it to the final round. And yeah, so those will be the next few videos of the career mode, so hopefully you'll join us for that. Let's take a look at this next shot. Tempo again, going slightly to the right, but it's missing the green, uh, the rough there. Sorry, no issues here. That is into 52 the yards to the hole. We'll take it. Looking happy with that. Good chance to get one in close from here. This is second. Should make it with a bounce, and it has, but it might roll back off. It's slowly tricking away, but it's okay, kept itself on the green. Safely on the green. This one measures out to 15 feet. Right, it's turned just in time to hit the hole. We will take it. And he'll move to two under par, one back of our leader. Next up, the stout par three fourth here at Augusta National, measuring 240 yards. Now, a par three, this will be the biggest the challenge is key with the two for us at this point. The front of that green. And we're going to use the iron as well. Again, don't know how much momentum we'll get on this one. Pretty good swing. Wind might take it to the bunker, though. Yeah, it has. Uh, we, oh, it's a, that's awkward it's being up a hit slant. Never easy to control these shots. From the bunker, just and looking to do the spot. recovery. Like we have all of our career. Not a gimme, but we'll take it. Feet, not too bad. Bit of a slope. Should creep in for the par. And we will take it. And he'll stay at two under. There we go, two under. After four. That's the way to do it. We move now to hole number five, Magnolia. A par four at a stout 495 yards. Avoiding the two deep bunkers left of the fairway is a must, but a sloped green full of little hollows makes getting an approach to birdie range. Staying no straight. Feet. Moving to the right side of the fairway. That'll do. He needs to be mindful of the breeze here as he sets for a second. That's per hour. What was the five iron? Thinking the breeze is going to pick it up. That's just, again, we've done this a couple of times in this hole. Mm, and that will run all or it's the, into the back first bunker. time we played as an amateur or it was the online tournaments when we streamed it into the bunker, getting set we've to flown over shot. we haven't got that one quite right yet and then we hit a pretty similar shot every time and now we're yeah, that was gonna be tough to fly not that a gimme this could be a drop shot folks not gonna lie this is gonna come up a good bit short Turning at the end, and it's just got in. We've saved that there. Just about measured that putt correctly. Harmon now on four under after 12. 180 yards. This will be the real test of these new irons now. Chance to make it too, but you need to be precise on the tee. Let's 
It's heading. That might hit this hill. It has, but it's just going to trickle to the back. Into the fringe. It came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop. Might roll back down the hill, you know. It's got the momentum to do so. And it is. That's going to be a drop shot for us. I need to put this. It's moving both directions. I think. Just want to hit it slightly to the left. It's the hill where it's going to do the most movement. Oh, we nearly rescued it. But we'll take a drop shot. Again, not a great to get the par three. That's my main weakness at the minute. How oh, about getting the first shot right? And we nearly had a double bogey there. But we'll take it. One under is not a bad start. Just got to make sure we make the cut. That's the first aim of these two rounds. Make the cut. And build from there. Pine trees running the length of the fairway. As we're coming up towards the halfway point of this first round. With the three front on the seventh. Preventing any thoughts of running one up to the green. Nice hit. Felt good off the club. And race down that hill for me, baby. Well, and we're good. And drop it any better than that. Range of 24 well, yards in total. Right there. Second shot coming up, and we say no. hello to Iona Steven. 124 left to the flagstick. Wind coming from behind, so you'll need to be careful where you land it. Watch the tree dip a bit for me, and it's... Again, mismeasured it a little bit. Go on the green. Fairly straightforward put now. We save the par again. Could have gone a bit wrong that one. Then at the bunker, which I think is what saved us. Let's see what we do on a par five. See if we can make some shots up here. With a bit more power on our arsenal. Some better irons. We might be able to make something of this. And leave you within eagle range. Two hundred and seventy one yards to the hole. Very difficult to make it to here. Going with a power approach though, so let's see how it goes. That's going straight for the tree. We've missed it somehow. We've landed in the rough though. And this gonna wind up in the second cut. 60 wedge. This could get away from us if we're not careful. A roll, but it's not going to roll too far. Decent opportunity for a birdie. This will be a 14 foot putt here. Just got to watch that movement right at the start of the putt, and it's just moved it. I'm just going to sneak on by. It's short putt for a par now. Oh, just and moves to the left, that just not right even. Got my left and right, so it's true. Come on. And he'll remain right where he is. Fifteen minutes into this one now. There, fifteen oh, holes in. Is intriguing here at Augusta National. This is where you can see just how hilly the golf course Nine is. Nine holes. Show up on television that about way. to be completed. You can certainly feel it as you make your way up to this ninth green. Keep this one nice and straight. Jobs are good. A little bit slow on the it's tempo, the but it's going to go down that hill, so it's not going to really matter. This is going to be a beautiful drop down the hill. There we go, 100 the yards to the hole. It'll set up a good now we just need that approach shot to a nice round number here, an even hundred yards coming up for his second. Come on, make it, make it. I'll do. 
That's a good I'll do. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. Okay, lots of movement at the start of this one. I measured it just oh, right. It is a here the in measured the approach and he'll go out got us that shot, I think. Got us that this front side. shot made back. And we moved to two under top five at the moment. The second nine here at two back Nashville. on the leaders. The start of a difficult stretch. These two par fours, 10 and 11, now, all you want, this is where we start to hit some of the trickier holes on the course, I think. We make the turn here we haven't really done well on the back nine before. <laughs> this is where the real test starts to kick in. Nothing to it on the first nine under par. Here to start the tournament. But there is no water on the front nine, Rich. And as we all know, the water starts at 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. Can they get through that? Pitching wedge we're going to use. 18 foot down. Bit of breeze going forward. Thinking with those two factors combined, we should get on the green. Just landed. No, that's the left. Bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. I could curl in. No. Good effort, but that's gonna wander a few feet by. Yeah, he needed Didn't to quite turn. Out a little bit further, and he also needed to hit it just a little harder. So that's oh. in for par to start this back side. And he'll stay right. We've got eight holes to go. So here we find ourselves in a decent position. Zalatoris climbing up to second there. But now, here's where things really 520 yards par four. You know it as well as anyone. This is where it's going to be a tricky one. And we've got the water surrounding that green as well as the bunker on the right hand side. Broached is going to have to be pitch perfect. On the second shot into 11 and the two shot. At 13 is the finish of that 209 yards. Not just looking to go to too close to the flag stick. Into the 12th hole. So it's an amazing part. I think it's a Being a safe shot. Under um, swinging it a little bit. And uh, that might go veering off into the water if we're not careful. And it has. Invariably seems yeah. to start at Augusta National. That one is running so high. It's going to be a drop shot. All right, so he'll take his Unless we chip it in from here, but I don't see us doing that. His fourth now to the par four. Just need that to stop. Round about there. That might trickle off. Now, put to save double bogey. Eight foot putt here. Oh, that's gone so bad. Look at the turn off. That is not a great putt there. That's going to put... If we don't putt this now, we're back to even. Okay. Thankfully, we do. We drop two points, unfortunately. And that's gonna move him Hard back work at the front nine's gone and disappeared. Welcome now we've got seven holes to try and build it back up again. Maybe the most famous par three in the world. Hogan's Bridge, Ray's Creek, you're familiar with all the names, a bunker in front of the green and two behind, club selection and trying this, best This is not going to be an easy shot. Absolutely critical. Aye, down, down. And that will not miss a great shot. Well, green left, but that should be manageable from there. So across the infamous bridge. At the Masters. Can't see the measurements here. We're lying on instinct to feel where the golf club is from the visual aid. Well, those are the shots that turn what you'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. That's fine. Oh, that'll bring a rise. Very easy to drop shots on that hole. And we've come through it unscathed. And he'll stay at even par. Main frustration comes from obviously the uh tenth dropping the two shots there. As we move from the par three to the par five. Chance to gather your thoughts and then maybe gather some momentum, turn one over off the tee, and then turn on the jets, maybe make eagle here. That Safety on the fairway, that. Left edge of the fairway. 
might make it in two. Need to measure this though. Hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Could, could make it. Stay, 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 stay. Ugh. Yeah, that ball just did not have enough steam to get up onto the green, and it catches the slope and runs right back in. Just keep swimming, screen. folks. Just keep swimming. So with a penalty stroke added in now, and luckily this is the par five. Four shot number four. Wanted a bit more roll out of that. Too much under swing. The strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. There's literally barely any turn on this. This should be pretty straightforward. And it is. Oh, well, nothing routine about that one. Well Again, done. took a gamble on the par five and it didn't work out. And he'll stay at level par. Sal Torres now pulling away seven under. Yards is a good one. The real the further they pull away, is the, the lower the cut's going to be. And we need to make some shots here. This to be and quick. The most difficult in golf. There we go. And that a good shot up the hill and into the fairway. 115 yards now. Need this approach to be right. Second shot. Good look at the green. 54 wedge. Moving it to the left. It's going to work out all right, I think. There we go. Great opportunity for a birdie now. This is an 11 foot putt. Oh, just missed. Hang on. That's gonna leave about three Good opportunity to miss that. That's really frustrating. There we go. Next one's in. Ball holes to make up some shots now. On to the final par five on this second nine. The now 550 yard 15. This historically has yeah, and let's not forget, we haven't made a cut yet in a Masters tournament. In Granted, we were an amateur last time, so yards to the hole. Well -shot that's got to be the first team. What anything else happens. There we go, you can just see the green just creeping over the edge of the hill there. There's no way we are making that shot. We are just going to... Play it safe. No need to gamble. Get the iron on. Straighten this one out. Yeah, this is going to wind up being a good layup here at 15 and a smart one as well. Need that to carry. Starting right. Got to oh. be careful over there. Oh my gracious, here's another ball in the hazard. We've seen that multiple times already in this round. And another drop so shot's coming. Drop, this is going to be his fifth shot into this par five. Unless we hit this perfectly straight. We haven't. It's going to the left. Three holes, three wet outcomes. Soggy outcomes. We arrive now at the 170 yard par 316 played in Not very often you can go swimming at the Masters, but here we are. We're doing it. Precision off the tee here is key. You can make a birdie. 
Well, you have to figure this to be another exciting moment for this young golfer. Frank, you stop to consider how many great moments have taken place here at hole number 16, this beautiful little par three. And now here you are standing on that tee for the first time as a pro. Yeah, it's quite incredible, Rich. Um, not just the hole, but the opportunity to that ridge that cuts through the green there. So we've seen many a shot look like it's 20, 30 feet, even perhaps right or left of the flag, and then starts to take the contours and roll. Could it be a hole in one? Could it be like a Tiger Woods missing the green on the left and a in your wife? So oh, it's an opportunity. It's that went way yeah, closer than I thought it was going. Uh, it's Augusta. That was a hell of an opportunity. Five feet left. Oh, that's another it's drop shot. It's going wrong. Nearly as much as he anticipated. <sighs> a missed shot. We go to two plus if we don't pot this. Yeah, we do. Well done, though. It is for bogey here at the par three. And that's going to move him back to two over par. Going to have to have a hell of a second round here, folks. Next up, the have to have a hell of a second round. Measuring 440 yards. The Eisenhower tree, you may remember, was removed in 2014 after being damaged in an Again, ice storm. But challenges changed a couple of settings from green, the players. Seems to slope off in just about every and direction. to be honest, I'm just glad we're not obviously running away with every single tournament because I was a bit worried after the players' championship yeah, being 22 under or 23 under, whatever it was, that it would become too easy. But it, it hasn't done that. Out, let's check in for the first time with Nodavige the third. He's left himself with 143 yards to the hole, looking to make up for that drop shot with a birdie here. Oh, it's worked somehow. That's a lovely shot. That's a good shot. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. It's got to be fairly straight, hasn't it? Hold the line. There we go. Oh, Made one back. That's in for birdie here at 17. Final hole here at Augusta National. It is all you wanted. 465 yards up the hill, all right in front of you. There we go. The Final line, hole. The perfect approach. And you might get the perfect ending. All you've ever wanted. A chance to finish strong here at the 18. We can Frank, get a birdie here. I'd be ecstatic. Our feature golfer's first round as a professional at a major championship. You'd have to say a few more downs than up so far. What have you seen? A little bit of inexperience on the golf course, Rich. I mean, there's opportunities abound here. The par fives, for example, at Augusta National. But there's pitfalls. I mean, the tough holes, to use the words of Tom Watson. If you can keep the slate clean on holes like five, you know, 10 and 11, 12 obviously uh it's like 17 and 18. it's not the water it's the sand around augusta national so I, I i think this was more a lesson learned today just creep onto the green hold it there please thank you okay, safely on the putting surface out of there the we sand. go maybe like to run that up a little further but that's not the worst shot in the world 10 it's just not turned again it's gonna leave a sour taste here at the end of the round <laughs> dropped another shot despite making one back on the last hole okay the shake of the head the Masters so far in our career is not proving out to be our tournament. Nine shots back on the leader. Still 54th, apparently. So, pe pe so people must be making some pretty bad rounds. I'll have a quick look to see what the cut's looking like. We're obviously not playing the second round today, but what's the second cut looking like? Projected cut line is plus one and we're on plus two, so we have to be under par. Otherwise, we're out, basically. Could be out of our first major and missing the cut on our first major. Not great, folks. But it is what it is. That's the challenge of this career mode, and I'm sure that's part of the reason why you're enjoying it as much as I am. Again, thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk about the Masters first round. Um, if you do enjoy the series and you've enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Far away from the Big Wood 100, Hopefully we'll get there in the next couple of days. And yeah, we'll see you on the next one, guys, where we take on the second round 
of the Masters and hopefully, fingers crossed, make the cut, then maybe if we do, we might be able to play the third round as well. But we'll see how that one goes. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Thanks again. See you soon.